All right, so we're heading out to the south, and we're going to try to head over to what was it called? F Fallbrook. Even though our mission is to the west of Fallbrook, we're going to try to get to Fallbrook, okay? Jasper's in here with me right now. He uh, followed me they into the room. He refused bed. to stay out of the room. The so I let him in, and he's going to probably be here right. for a little bit. Oh, crap. Marauders. I really like this new gun. I got the end, end zone gun or whatever it's called. It's crazy good, man. It does so much damage. I love it. Ah, I love it. <laughs> All right. So what did you guys do during the break? It was a very long break I took. And I apologize. It was a little bit longer than I intended. But hopefully you guys uh, had fun during the break. You get too bored without me. Oh. Let's pick this safe. Got some items there. Officer Spine. Hello, Jake Katz. How's it going today? Good to see you. Loot, 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 and loot some more. And then loot, and loot, and loot. Ah, <laughs> Jasper's not laying on the floor. Right in front of the TV, relaxing. Okay. Feel free to to talk about stuff in stream chat, guys. I'm just gonna be exploring all these play these buildings and places before we head out uh, down to Fallbrook. So I get the feeling it's gonna be a little you know bit of busy work before we head out there. Some of these places are already locked. Well, I'm feeling very good today, OG Rascal. I'm in a good mood. I've, I'm uh, recovered from yesterday's marathon and uh, you know playing good games today. So that's always a positive, right? Hello, homeless gamer. Oh, excuse me. Alrighty. Weapon parts. Loot, loot, and loot. And loot, loot, loot. I'm missing XP not shooting those things? What things? What the hell? This guy died with a sprat in his bed. I don't know if that's cute or if that... Like, is that his pet sprat? Or what the deal is? I have no idea. I don't know how to how to take that. <laughs> what am I supposed to be shooting? The yellow bomb fingers? There's yellow bomb fingers. With this? Why am I getting experience for that? I'm not, am I? PHGQED says, Thanks for streaming the game. I've been curious. How would you rate this out of 10? I'm not going to read it out of 10 because I am not. I haven't beaten it yet. I'm certainly not going to give uh, an opinion like that until I'm done with it. But I can tell you, it's very fun. I love open world exploration. I love side questing. This game has it all. The only thing I think the gunplay isn't as good as other open world RPGs like this. It's kind of almost a second thought because there's so much exploration and plot to do that the gunplay is kind of meh. But outside of that, I'm having a lot of fun with the game. So, By the way, Jasper just left. So I closed the door. <laughs> he, ref he absolutely demanded to come in here. Then I start streaming. He's like, oh, you're just streaming again? That's boring. And then he leaves. What a nut. So this looks like it used to be a church or something, right? It certainly does look like it used to be. Everyone's dead here now. Marauder thug. Uh, Pee Wee... No, Pee Pee Wee Wee tipped me a dollar and said, What's the biggest thing you inserted into your anus? Um, pff, toilet paper. That's about it. <laughs> toilet paper into my anus. Straight Cash Homie just tipped me $10. Says, Phil, I hope you had an awesome Halloween. I dropped in and out of your stream yesterday. Getting hyped for Death Stranding. Yes, today is the big day. First of all, thank you very much, Straight Cash Homie, for that. Um, today is the big day of everyone reacting to the Death Stranding reviews. And seeing how ridiculously different the reviews are. Some people saying the game is amazing. Some people saying it's incredibly boring and overhyped. Like, I don't think I've ever seen such a dichotomy of opinions when it comes to a game. Um, so it'll be very interesting to finally play the game in one week's time. It's actually one week from today. I just picked up a nice hat. What the hell? A nice hat. 
It gives you leadership skills plus five and persuade plus seven. What on earth? <laughs> okay. I'm going to use it. This is funny. A nice hat. To be fair, it's a very nice hat indeed, said DJ Runo. It is, I like it. I'm wearing it. I'm wearing this top hat. Maybe for the rest of the playthrough. That's pretty cool. A lot of items in this building. I don't know why there's so many, but okay. Alright, I think I cleared them all out now. That was a lot of shit. And a nice hat, unique item. Okay, nothing else over here. Oh, wait, there's still. Oh, shit. Look at this. What you gonna do? Jesus Christ! Damn! Look at all those effects! Dude, she straight up said, Fuck this! She went Rambo on that shit. She literally went Rambo on that shit. Okay, then. Her ability is just lose control. Okay, fine. Sounds good to me. <laughs> Plain old pure water. Her, her. Aha. Uh -huh. I don't know what's going on right now. See, so it's turning. I'm not doing that. I don't know if my thumbstick's screwed up. It might be. My thumbstick might be screwed up. Whoa, it's dark in here. Freaking dark in here, man. I can't see anything. Officer's spine. I keep finding those. I think those are worth a decent amount when you sell them. The melee weapon. All right, I think we've almost cleared this area. By the way, where are we on the map? Yeah, see, we're heading off different directions, clearing this build, these, uh, County. this town. 126 messages. Oh my god! Holy, dude, when she does her ability, that's just n insane. She opens that shit up, dude. She opens that ship up and let's fucking rip. Holy crap. I love it. I love her ability. Play cool. Has to me a dollar. So how's it going for you today? Some feedback related to YouTube would be great if you could include a link to the playthrough of each game on its video description. I used to watch a later list. And this would help a lot since I only tag one video. Uh, so you're saying put a link to the playlist in the description of the video that's in the said playlist? Like say check out the whole playlist here. Is that what you're saying? I don't think I ever even thought about doing that. <laughs> In the entirety that I've done videos on YouTube, I don't think I ever thought about doing that. Look, I'm not doing nothing. See? There's something going on here. I think there's something wrong with my right thumbstick. What the fuck? He says yes. That would be I guess that would that'd be interesting. I have to see if I can remember how to do how to do that. Considering I've been doing videos the same way for so long. <laughs> the Mather Residence. What is in here? The Mather Residence. A unique area. Hmm. Let her rip. Huh. Whoa. Uh this place looks nice. What's going on here? Why does this place look so good? Look at self playing piano. What the heck? A visitor? <laughs> what an unexpected surprise. Please, come in. Come in. Who the hell are these guys? I'm getting <laughs> real bad fight or flight right now. Watch your step. People ain't this friendly outside city walls. Oh, <laughs> she thinks something special. Something Nonsense. weird. Nonsense. Out here in the wilderness, we welcome all who come to our door. Now come in. Make yourselves comfortable. Don't mind if I do. 
Excellent. You've arrived at just the right time. My wife is putting the finishing touches on dinner. Please, make yourself at home until it's ready. Something ain't right about this. Hmm. Okay, search the house. The secret people. Oh, hi there. Did you come to bring us more of those rocket candies? Sure, I brought some. That's wonderful. There was this other man who used to bring them. Not anymore, though. Uh, what can you tell me about him? Mama and Papa said he came from the city. When we got sick one time, he brought those candies to make us well again. And they worked. Now we feel better than ever. Mama says they're a gift from the Eternal. Eh? I wonder what the hell they're talking about. Why isn't he bringing you more rocket candies? He said they were making us sick. Mom and Papa got real mad at him for that. They went to have a talk with him. Afterwards, they said he wasn't coming back again. What the hell? This is very odd. Okay. The way she said that reminded me of a rat licking its chops. Be careful. <laughs> Can we talk? Hey, what are you doing in my room? Oh, nothing. We're out of here. Sorry, I was just looking around. Liar. You're trying to steal the last of my rocket candies, aren't you? What? The ones that come in a bottle with a rocket ship on it. Like the other man used to bring. I'm going now. Okay, I didn't know. I wasn't stealing, but I wasn't, actually didn't steal anything. I just wanted to see what was in her room. The hell? A hand statue. Levi Mather's poetry journal. Do not read. Look. So he used to write. He used to write really elaborate poetry. And look, it's getting more and more degrading. At the bottom, it says hunger. There is an ache sharp in my stomach. Hurts all the time. Fun makes me sick. Water makes me sick. Always hungry, so I can't think. What the hell? By the way... Prepare all equipped. Didn't work. I prepared my weapon. So, I think they're becoming zombies or cannibals or something. Yeah. Oh. I opened the door. I didn't need to. Here's the bathroom. Got another door locked here. Look. Okay. Oh. Okay. They stole for sudden asshole. Ain't enough that the rats eat everyone. Now people are doing it too. They are cannibals. Your job is too great, too grueling, or too gruesome for a Sam. I got his work ID. We'll return to Ballard Velma, our current supervisor of MSI Fishery Operations in Stellar Bay. Well, that's gruesome. Damn. So there's like a hole in the wall. They're cannibals! Zelda Mini says, I think that they made, uh, I think that they made Bethesda look bad now because this game is way better than, uh, Fallout 4 and Fallout 76. Fallout 76, any game is better than Fallout 76. Fallout 4 is, I, I mean, that'd be a tough call. The game's four years old at this point, and, you know, obviously this game has improvements from that game, I would say. Well, we know they're cannibals. Now what do we do is the question. What do we do about it?
We steal their maglocks, that's what we do. We're probably gonna have to fight them, watch. We're gonna have to fight them when we go downstairs. <clears throat> But what's this? <clears throat> You're tracking blood into the kitchen. <laughs> oh dear. You've been nosy, haven't you? Doesn't have to end badly. It's one of my bitter qualities. The murdering cannibal amuses uh, accuses me of being nosy. Let's say let's say relax, see what happens. Of course not. What better end for the day than a meal around the family table? And what more noble purpose for you than to bring us together? Or you can let me go and I can send more mules your way. Now there's an intriguing prospect. Forgo the promise of a fine dinner now for others down the road. Uh, Martha, my dear, what do you say? It seems the Eternal shall provide through our new friend. And there we have it. Stop by any time, hmm? That was a quest line. That's pretty silly. That was a whole quest line. Oh, I could have slaughtered them all, right? Here. Speak with Velma at the fishery. So I continue the quest by going to the fishery and telling her what I found here. Interesting. Big Daddy Maddie did a 100-bit cheer. He says, did Obsidian intentionally make this game to mimic Elder Scrolls and Fallout Engine just rub it in Bethesda's face? Yeah, I think so. I remember, someone just said slaughter them. I'm not going to slaughter them yet because I want to go to Velma to continue this quest line. But remember, this game was made by the same people who made Fallout New Vegas and the people who wrote the, the plot of Fallout 1 and 2. So, in reality, you had the people who started the Fallout franchise combined with the people who made an arguably, arguably one of the best, if not the best, first-person Fallout game combined. And yeah, it does make Bethesda look bad. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Homeless gamers feast on the flesh. No. If you can't beat them, join them. <laughs> no, I don't think so. So I guess we go back to Velma, train that mission in quickly, and then we head back further south. Because we are not really that far away. Yeah, we're not that far away from town. Yeah, we actually didn't go that far outside of town. But we have cleared this whole area now. Yep, we did all these buildings, so we're done here. There's another area of buildings here that we're going to clear later. But I guess we'll go back to town and we'll go to Velma. And trade this in and see what happens. Velma. <laughs> A glass for every class. Yes, Derek did make this game. You're correct, Sir Queefington. The fuck are you talking about? Two more kings that I spent a thousand hours in Fallout 76. I won't get that many in this game. I can't imagine what the hell you did for a thousand hours unless you just did the repetitive defense quests of the, the colonies. I don't know what else you did in there. Because remember, I did all the major quests in that game and there certainly wasn't a thousand hours of uh, content. Oh wait, I forgot to talk to this woman. Oh, thank you for stopping. Everyone acts like nothing's wrong. Like my little boy isn't at risk of being eaten by some vile creature. Oh, great. What's this? I forgot to talk you to her. You have to help me get my little Tucker back. He ran away and is going to get himself killed. Oh, I, I just know a raptodon is melting him with acid as we speak. Tuh! What the hell? This kid ran off. Where'd you last see him? Oh, I just knew you were a good person. Agnes, I said, this is the man to save your little Tucky. And I was right. He ran out into the wilderness a few days ago. I warned him about the raptodons, mantisaurs, and marauders, the toxic sulfur pools, and poisonous plants, but he didn't listen. Please, won't you go and find my boy? All right, I guess I'll find him. Thank you. Oh, I know he'll be safe now that someone's able to fetch him home. Where the hell is you he? You look for him in Amber Heights, you hear? That's where we're going. We're going to Amber Heights. West of town. Nice. I'm sure he made it that far. I just know it. Well, another another side quest. All right, shut up. We already <laughs> another side quest to do while we're at Amber, Amber Heights, which we're already heading to. So, okay. So Velma is apparently back here. Oh, shit, is a dead end. How do I get back there? 
It must be the at the bay, yeah, down here at the docks. Oh, here we go. Hey, Belma, I got your cathodoid pills. You're a lifesaver. Hope Abigail didn't give you a hard time. Oh, he's the one who got the pills for her. Any word on Braxton? Nothing. You don't know how much longer I can cover for him either. Here we go. We gotta tell her Look, that Braxton's you can tell dead. Catherine the new shipment will be ready when it's ready, all right? She's welcome to come up here and pack boxes herself if she's in such a hurry. Catherine said she'd shove you in a box if you keep running your gap like that. Did she now? Well, I can see I was mistaken. Because if Catherine really had sent you, there'd be a lot more expletives in your message. Yeah. I hope you can forgive my temper. This job has been running me ragged lately. First, my autoloader foreman stages a walkout, and now my chief pescatological health manager is missing. Spawn Killer, yeah, this game is incredibly similar to Fallout New Vegas, in my opinion. In fact, I'd say this game has an even bigger element of choice when it comes to who you side with, how you do missions, and that's one of the best things about it. This is about your foreman. Caleb Herrick runs the autoloader operators. He thinks I don't pay them enough for flipping switches and turning dials. He and his whole crew walked out. Say they won't come back unless I pay them more. I can talk to Caleb for you. You mind slapping him around a little while you're at it? Wow. Huh. I'm joking. Mostly. Unless you can do it without hurting his job performance. If you can find a way to get him back to work, I'll make it worth your while. Check the yacht club. He's usually there. Alright, gotta convince him to return to work. I got some bad news about Braxton. Yes, my wife I couldn't satisfy Charity said... Why do you mute sneezes but make it a point to sniffle, clear your throat, and crush your recyclables directly into the mic? Because I, I do what I want. How about that? Actually, it's because those things are not intrusive. While when I sneeze, I have to directly get up below my nose and do this extended thing. Versus if I go, ahem, or a quick snort to clear my sinuses. It's that quick and we continue on. It's you who nitpicked that stupid shit. It's your fault. Okay. That he's, he's got dead. his load on and I'm stuck covering his shift? Know that he's dead. Here you go. Brewer Braxton's ID. He was killed by cannibals. That's... Wow. I sure feel like an ass now. Maybe now you can hire someone better? It's a rotten way to go. Huh. Yeah. I wouldn't wish that on Catherine herself. Still, it's good to know what happened to him. And that I ought to start looking for a replacement. Something else on your mind? So I guess that's it for this mission? Let's talk about Caleb. Unless you're here to tell me he's agreed to do his job again, I've got nothing to say. So we gotta go talk to Caleb. It's a mission. Why can't you give him his pay increase? I don't have the bits for it, plain and simple. Besides, if I make an exception for him, I gotta do the same for everyone. DJ Runo Chudy said, Did you buy the thing from Gladys to go to Stellar's Bay? I went there on foot and was able to save the money. See, I think what you're saying is, there's two ways to go to Stellar's Bay. Either you pay for the safe one, or you, you do the manual one that's difficult. I just, I paid for the safe one, then I landed on the difficult one and walked anyway, because there was tons of experience and items along the way, so I basically wasted 10000 I didn't realize it until just this moment when you said that, and now I realize I didn't need to buy it at all. Anyway, thank you, Andromeda18, for four, a four-month resub, I appreciate that. Okay, they're hard workers, only deserve compensation for that. Hard workers? They turn dials and flip switches. The machines do all the actual work. Wow. Caleb and his crew have it better than anyone else around here, I'll tell you that much. If Caleb wants to keep this job, he'd better get back to it. I'm about ready to hire sublight contractors at this rate. Persuader, you've already lost Braxton. Can you afford to lose Caleb too? I don't even want ah. to think about that. Or how far behind Braxton's loss alone is going to put us. <sighs> Fine. Tell Caleb huh. he and his team can have their raise. But I need them back here immediately. Okay then. I leveled up. I I just I have such great speech challenges that I'm passing missions without ever talking to anyone. It's hilarious. It's pretty freaking good. All right, lockpick. I went lockpick to sixty. You can actually now preview what's inside a locked container. That's interesting. Um. Hmm. Chance items to repair will become pristine, increasing in value and durability. Hmm. Hmm. 
Hmm. I'm not sure what I want to do for my, my next four points. Alright, I just put it all into lockpick. Okay, so apparently this is Caleb over here. No, so that's the broker. I got the wrong quick mission selected. There we go. So where the hell is he? He's right over here. He's still in town. Okay. Will I ever do a playthrough of the original Rayman? I don't know. If they ever remaster it, I'd be more inclined. Um... If anyone ever wanted to see me do it and ask, maybe I would consider it, but no one's really ever asked me to do that. So that's why I've never done it. I don't even know how I would do it. I don't know if it was ever remastered for any uh, any console, you know, to like to play on a, on a modern console. I guess this is his crew. Look at this. New face, huh? <clears throat> you from Offworld? Yes, Captain Darkside Phil. A ship captain? Well, <laughs> I'll be here. Glacier water? Buy you a drink. He gave me water. Consider it an MSI welcome. Uh, Why don't you grab a chair, sit a spell, and revel with us? We need to talk about Velma. Sure thing. What did you want to discuss? Uh, you all got your jobs back. Yeah, convince her to see reason, she'll increase your pay. How'd you manage that? Wait, never mind. If I question it, it'll turn out not to be true. Uh, Besides, I never follow how you got Velma to part ways with a bit card of her own accord. This guy kind of looks like a young Here, Val Kilmer. Take this as compensation. Nice. It ain't a lot, but I hope it shows how much we appreciate all you've done. Now me and my friends here better get back to work before Velma blows a fuse. Easy peasy. That's how I like it. Something I want here. Okay. So we're done here. Now we can head back out and we can try to get back down to Fallbrook, which is where we're trying to go in the first place. Before we got so sidetracked with everything, right? Fallbrook. That's where we're heading. Fallbrook. Okay. How do we get there? <clears throat> this way. Hello, Yoshino Lover. Great progress in Outer Worlds. Uh, basically, did a lot here in Monarch so far today. We covered half the map already. Found a bunch of items. Got to town and traded in a bunch of side quests just by randomly finding items on the map, which is pretty funny. Um, and now we're going to head to uh, southeast to Fallbrook where I have two or three extra missions and then we're going to head to the main story. So we'll see how far we get. <clears throat> Alrighty. Alrighty then. Polish Yoshi says shout out to Death Proof. Well, there you go. Congratulations, Death Proof, on a shout out. Alright, so we've already cleared this area. We can run through this, this town and... Oh. Alcohol as a cleaning agent? I've some folks do that. Alcohol-based cleaners can compare to Samson Ray acid spray premium <laughs> nozzle attachment. Installation okay, then. for as low as nine payments of 99.99 bits. Is that a yes or a no? I can never tell with you. <laughs> Alright, so now we head Warning. this way. Liquid is caustic. Keep out of reach from elderly customers and... So we're going to follow the road to this next area, search that, head here, search this, and then go to Fallbrook. <laughs> Whoa! Don't you you're calling an elderly lab spread, you fucking bolts. Ouch. He got destroyed. There's another one back wow, here. I? I don't see his oh, body. Oh, oh well. Why do you call an elderly lab spread, you fucking bolts? <laughs> oh, let's follow the road. Hello, BC Baby Kitten. How's it going? Having fun on a new world today. And I got a great weapon now. Watch your feet. The sulfur pools don't just sink. I'll take a toe off. This is my first end zone weapon in the entire game. This is a sulfur pool. That's what she said that, right? 
Yeah, look. Ugh. Looks great. Seems like a good place for a dip. Refreshing dip. Alright. This way. So here's the settlement that we're going to pass by. I guess we'll investigate it and see what the hell it is. A possum says, Get fitty of fuck it. Fitty of literally anything at this game, at this oddity of a game. Yeah, I know a lot of different kinds of enemies. Marauders, there's a freaking, like, lizard mutants. There's fucking giant bugs. Oh, I hear something. I hear some kind of an enemy. We're gonna buy what they got and sell. Yeah, we're gonna buy the usuals. Yep, I'm gonna sell a ton of shit. Guys, now at this point, I probably have a ton of shit to sell again. Oh my god, look at all the shit to sell. Let's see. Light machine gun Mark II. So it's better than the standard light machine gun. The officer spying them. I'm gonna sell. I'm not using those. Man, I want that. Hey, Festus, tech skill plus five, man. Impact Hammer Mark II. Full Hammer. Another officer spy. Yeah, I'll get rid of the hunting rifle, too. Assault Rifle Ultra. Light Machine Gun Mark II. Maybe I should make a corrosive light machine gun Mark II. That might be pretty interesting. Sell the Tremor Cleaver. Oh, my God. There's so much stuff to sell. Don't want that. Sell all the shit. Okay, I sold a ton. I also sold all my crap. I'm back to 10,000 bits. Are you serious? I just, when I ride on the planet, I dumped all my bits. I already have another 10,000. Holy shit. This game's out of control, man. <laughs> Insulated. Increases body armor and helmet armor ratings against plasma damage. Interesting. Alright, so I hear some enemies. I don't know where they Oh, shit. They got destroyed. They ran. Okay. So this used to be a giant building. It looks like we can't go in it, though. Yeah, it's, it's a dead end. What about this building? Oh, I could go in this one. Give me that purple berry crunch. More stuff I can sell. Okay. This gun is too good. Melts everything, man. Absolutely melts all every enemy I come across. So I don't know if I'm ever going to need the corrosive light machine gun, but I think I'm going to make one anyway. <laughs> Alright. Onward. What happened here? A bunch of dead sprats. Some ammo. What is that? That's a flamethrower. I already had a flamethrower, but I guess I got a second one to sell now. <laughs> okay. Great. I'm stuck on a rock. Oh, oh shit, where did you come from? Oh my god, did you see that? Ugh. His head exploded. <laughs> Yuck. Madara says his bathroom barbecue today was a success. Sounds good, man. <laughs> it's always good when you're in the bathroom when you compliment your delicious slow roast barbecue sauce with some toothpaste. Just slap it right on there. <laughs> Ugh. 
Well, I made it to Amber Heights Crossroads. This is Amber Heights, huh? Okay, I have a ma I have a mission here. There he is. So I guess we'll do this. Who's, who's see if the guy's in Amber Heights? We gotta rescue him. Well, actually, no, it's a kid, right? It says her kid is stuck in here. Yeah. She said her kid went out and got my, you know, is lost. So maybe he, the kid is in Amber Heights here. Okay. Uh. I don't know. It looks pretty safe to me. Looks like there's people camping out here. No one was in two. Yeah, I don't see any but dead bodies or anything. I don't think anyone's in too much danger right now. Unless the whole place is abandoned and everyone's eating or something. But it looks fine to me. Let's see. Toilet paper napkins too, Samadara. Homeless gamers, just make sure you run your exhaust fan when you're barbecuing in your bathroom. That's right. And CM Fool took me a dollar. Says, how many men does it take to screw in a light bulb at one to play the quiet man? All right. <laughs> the quiet man jokes continue. By the way, the sun is going down now. And it's getting darker in my office so the camera's not as bright. I'm playing for less than an hour, though, so maybe I'll just let it run. <laughs> oh, by the way, I completely forgot to mention this, guys. So Just so you know, if you don't live in the United States, Daylight Saving Time starts on Sunday, which means on Sunday, my streams will be an hour later. The entire country here, we change our clocks on Sunday. So everything will be one hour later. And I just want you to know that because you might be here and be like, where is Phil? Well, well hello. the streams and are an hour later that day. the Iconoclast. I'm Rose. Please take a pamphlet. So these are the iconoclasts. In it, you'll find everything you need to know about Graham, his philosophist truths, and the iconoclast way. He wrote it himself, you know. Oh, oh no! I'm so sorry. I keep forgetting. We're out of pamphlets. Gosh, <laughs> blast it! Who are the iconoclasts? Why, we're the only free people in Halcyon. No corporations, no shackles, no problems. No problems. What about raptodons or marauders? Oh, those are just hurdles. We <laughs> deal with them as they come. You're welcome to stay with us, so long as you can earn your keep. Want to be happy family? I'm just looking for work. Do you have a boss or a leader? Got it. Before I go, I'm looking for a Tucker. Have you seen him? Let's say that. The new boy. Yes, he's quite clever. He took to our teachings very quickly. Last I saw him, he was headed into one of the buildings up the hill. Can okay. we can we talk? Oh. Hey, got a favor to ask you. A favor? What the hell? Next we just time met. we're out in the open sulfur, I'd like to stop in on an old friend of mine. Preferably before we get to Hiram's. It's on the way. Don't worry. Okay. You don't seem the type to run off and get yourself killed. And I could use the help. Okay. I'll be up front with you. I hate asking for help. I hate it. Every time I give someone the opportunity to disappoint me, they seem to make it their most immediate goal. But this, what I'm thinking, it's dangerous. I'm honored you're asking, I'm thrilled to accept. What kind of danger are we talking about? I'll consider, but we don't have time right now. All right, what can I do? Really? Here I was stealing myself for inevitable rejection. I used to run with a band of hunters, friends, six of us. We were on Monarch when the corporations pulled out, and we helped a lot of people pick up the pieces. I haven't seen two of them in years, and the rest huh. I know to be dead. I'd like to gather their effects and bury them all in the same places, like the family we once were. What do you need to do? First, we go to Hayes. I buried him a ways from our encampment. I need to pay my respects. I'll show you where he rests. He had a medallion in his effects. That's what I'll bring home to Barry. Okay, after that. Then we find my two lost trackers and bring them home. A long time ago, we built an encampment in one of Monarch's cave systems. Hmm. The trouble is, a mana queen showed up and kicked us all out. If we can find Rebecca and Anders, they'll know how to lure her out. Then we kill the bitch and bury everyone's medallions together. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Cap. That's a new mission structure. Where's that one? Starcross Troopers. Well, let's continue the quest here first. 
Yeah, let's continue the quest here first with the Iconoclast. Then we'll analysis. maybe do that after, so let's Never see. Total chaos. Apparently the person's up the here. They said it's a kid. It's so weird. Why would a kid be joining like a, an offshoot group like this? Says he's in here. Sure doesn't look like a place where kids should be hanging out. Uh... Tucker Needham? This does not look like a kid to me. He looks like he has gray hair. Looks like I'm not the only new face around here. What do I call you, stranger? Uh... Captain Darkside Phil? Welcome to <laughs> Amber Heights, Captain. Call me Tucker. You here to join the Iconoclasts? Help us free this world? Uh... You're Agnes's little boy from Stellar Bay? I am not a little boy. Uh, I've been it's one funny. for decades. No matter what my mama wishes. I take it she's still looking for me? I'd hope she'd accept my decision. Wow. She just feel like you were in danger and asked me to rescue you. According to her, stepping foot outside of the house in broad daylight is too dangerous. My entire life she crammed a fear of danger down my throat. Don't go play with friends. Vantasaurs will tear your arms off. <laughs> Don't leave the city. Raptodons will spit acid on your face. Marauders can violate you. You'd fall in a sulfur pool. <laughs> I stuck around way too long, ruled by her fears. I'm 42 years old. Wow, he's 42. He's a little boy in need of her protection. Uh... I won't stand for it, I tell you. Wow. Well, we could persuade running ways for cowards. You need to face her and show her you've grown up. Intimidate, I'm getting that reward. Either you go back or I beat it out of her. <laughs> no, let's persuade. She doesn't want to see me as anything other than her baby boy. Why would I go back again? What'll be different this time? You've survived outside of Stiller for weeks. Show her the skills you've learned. There you go. <sighs> You're right. I can do this. I just need to stand my ground and make her see she can't control me anymore. No one can. When Dara is asking what game modes am I going to play in Call of Duty tonight, more than likely I'm just going to do Team Deathmatch and maybe some Domination. You know, the standard modes. Um, however, I do want to try out the Ground War eventually. So we'll see tonight what I feel like. View the work orders. Oh, I need higher engineering. Hold on. I need engineering of 55. What level is my engineering right now? Forty-five. Do I have something I can equip? Long guns. Dialogue skills, medical, science. Would science be considered engineering? It might be. Tech skills is probably engineering. Now my engineering's 55. I can do it. Nice. I did it. Look at that. Science is 55. I can do that. Hack of 55, I can do that. Hack of 55, I can do that. And engage remote force door level operator. I did it. Dude, I did every single piece of thing to, on this terminal. Did I get a ton of experience for it or what? I don't know. But I did it all, look. I did all the work orders. Huh. <laughs> okay then. Oh, uh, I guess we can get rid of this now. Go back to what I was wearing. Actually, that's not what I was wearing, but it's kind of cool. <laughs> what was I wearing? I was wearing, uh... One of these. This one. That looks cool. Oh, I'll put that on. Okay, back to what I was wearing. Okay. So we got him to go back, right? Rob took me dollars at MSI. I guess it's even one of the companies or something, right? All right. Someone to me a dollar saying, I was a fan of yours, but I'm not a fan of yours anymore because you only played an hour 48 minutes of Visage and then you quit. It was part of a marathon. 
I never promised that games in a marathon are going to be finished. When the holy hell are you talking about? I own Visage. If I ever want to go back, I can. Um, and if everyone ever, ever, ever wants to see me go back and try to finish it, I can. But during a marathon, I only play the games at most for an hour and a half to two hours, and then I go on to another game. This has always been the thing. Every marathon I've ever done in the 11 years I've done them, if you don't understand how a marathon works, even though I ex explained it multiple times during the day, I don't know how I can help you. It sounds to me like you're just an idiot. So, thanks for the dollar tip, stupid. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. I literally, during the event, explained how it worked multiple times. This guy's going to complain now. Okay. The ultimate bolter. Oh, my God. In reality, the guy's probably just trying to troll me, so... So long, gun helmet. I already have an assault rifle ultra. I could sell that. I think I already have a flamethrower, right? Did I, did I already find one? I thought I had. I thought I have it. Oh, there it is. Yeah, sell it. Okay. I already have a plasma carbine. Sell that. Defense skills. I don't care about that. Sell that. If I find a bench, I want to make a corrosive light machine gun. If I find a weapons bench... I wasn't looking and I stole some picks. I want to pick this, but I guess I should save. <clears throat> Just in case I get they get alerted. I don't want them to come after me. <laughs> the hat looks silly. I know. It's a freaking top hat. I found a, a rear item. In quiet mode. Yeah, I found a rear... It was a rear item inside of a church. Did I assault rifle like a cell? Did they say heavy grenade launcher? I think I found a heavy grenade launcher. Okay. <clears throat> All right. All right, we're done here. Unless I can find anything else, we're done here. Just a couple of more buildings. And Iconoclast Rioter. He's actually known as a rioter. All I do is I riot. I lose my control and I riot. <clears throat> yeah, we felled it, mine. But we lost two runners and five gun hands. Hmm. A total failure, then. So much for the ruins. And hell only knows where the Van Oys are. They never showed. I'm sure they're... Ah, let's talk later. It seems we have company. Yeah, Madara is gone. I might consider continuing Bloodstain. He says he really enjoyed when I played it yesterday. I might consider continuing it. It looks pretty good, but I don't know. We'll see. Hey. Here we go. A stranger comes to our home. If you're looking for a path to walk, you've found one. If you're looking for a teacher, I am one. Welcome to the iconoclasts. All right, what do you teach? The truth that I have come to learn and embrace since shedding the corporate yoke. Out here, we survive by the sheer strength of our spirit. We have no need for the endless rules and red tape of a corporate structure. We do seem to burn through endless ammunition and medical tape, though. <laughs> yes, well, such is life. Our descendants will enjoy safety and luxury, but our generation is the foundation on which that future is built. Now, why have you come? Looking for ways to help the people here, yeah. A great many things, in fact. Side quests! We could always use a hand rounding <laughs> up supplies. Or... <clears throat> now, here's an idea. There's an old printing press I've been trying to get up and running. Hmm. A printing press on Monarch. Yeah, we found it, remember? And it said the printing press wasn't functional. Maybe he's going to give me the ability to do it. Because I've already been to that building. Oh, yes. Many facilities lie abandoned in the wilderness. I believe the press could be operational again with he a little... He wants to make pamphlets, doesn't he? And luck. He wants to make pamphlets. <laughs> Will you aid us in our cause? Sure. Wonderful. I requisitioned replacement rollers for it some time ago. Ah. Uh -huh. I should have delivered them yesterday. Speaking of which... Where is Huxley? You bought rollers? 
You haven't even cleared the wraps out yet. What are you doing wasting bits on... Ugh, forget it. Huxley's still recovering. She won't be up for a run for a while yet. It's Huxley, who we saved her. She was stuck in that room, remember? If you remember? intend to help our cause, yeah. I'll ask you to meet our MSI <clears throat> supplier in her stead. Yeah, Huxley's the one we rescued. She was locked in the room. Yeah, Huxley, the runner for the Northern Ruins. I helped her get out of there. So you're her mysterious savior. Uh, she sings your praises. That girl and her songs. So eager to learn. So bright-eyed. So tone deaf. Duh, tone deaf. All right, so where's the supplier? She meets us in the ruins of Bayside Terrace. From our compound, follow the road north. All right. Wonderful. While you're at it, I wonder if Carlotta still has those high-capacity cartridges. Grab a few, will you? There should be some funds left over from the last shipment. We can use them to copy and modify radio serials. Yes, not just magazines, but their precious dramas. Unbelievable. I hope I don't have to tell you this, but if there is extra money, would you mind buying, I don't That's know, it. food and medicine? Graham, if you need me, I'll be in triage. So. We got some stuff here to do. Yeah, look, the commuter. Oops. Where's the door? Let's do this. We got so many side missions to do now, dude. It's ridiculous. We could do this. We could do the one for... Oh my god. There's so much to do on this planet now. It's ridiculous. <laughs> okay. I ought to mention. I wonder where the hell this Carlota is. Folks. Okay. No, I've never fallen asleep on a bus and woken up in a faraway land. I used to take the school bus home all the time when I was a kid, but I never fell asleep on it. Oh, man. Ooh. All right, guys. We've got about 35 minutes left on the stream or so today. Thanks for a great stream so far. we got so much to do in the game yet again. Okay, this way. Let's see. I've already been there. It's past the terrace ruins. It's further in. Okay. Is there any food that's easy to eat besides penne? <laughs> that's stupid. This stupid meme. I already told you guys, penne isn't the easiest. I like rigatoni more. Cat likes rigatoni. I like any pasta that's big. You can easy easy to stab and eat. I don't like any of the the stringy pastas. I'll eat them, but it's much cleaner and easier to eat the other ones. There you go. Alright, where the hell are we? There. Uh, apparently I gotta follow the road. The road goes further in. But I can't go in because the door's locked. See? Is there a way around, maybe? Oh, there's an alternate... I didn't do this. I didn't go this far in. I didn't realize there was a way up here. I missed this before. Okay. Uh, Yoshin all over. I think Blasphemous is an okay game if you're looking for a very difficult Soulsborne-style game where every time you die, you have to redo a ton of shit. I'm not necessarily looking for that, so... <clears throat> Excuse me, but this area's off limits. We got a... Leaky generator. It ain't safe. That's my nice way of telling you to saw it off. I need to get inside. And I'm just gonna let you walk on in? Why is that now? So I can't intimidate because you need a hundred. I could lie, so I'm here to risk reports of a mantis war man infestation. Bribe or persuade? Let's lie. Oh, of all the void damned. I ain't getting eaten alive for a couple of bits. Pack it up, crew. Huh? Oh, they're all gonna leave. They're all gonna leave. I think there really is a mantis swarm coming. Wow. I can fit my fist in my butthole. What a great name. Tip the dollar and says, "What are the best horror movies you watched?" Um, recently, I would say 
There was one movie called The Baba Duke that I thought was pretty scary, and also It Follows. I thought both those movies were kind of creepy and scary. They're kind of unique premises as well. Um, of all time, I don't know. I don't, like I said, the movie that in my life scared me more than any other movie was The Ring. The first time I saw The Ring in the early 2000s, it scared the living shit out of me for some reason. I don't know why, but it did. So there you go. Locked it. Oh, you can now see what's inside. Two plasma launchers and a Dreno and a bit cartridge. Yeah. Yeah, now I got the ability to see what's inside before I lockpick. So I can decide if I want to waste my lockpicks or not on it. That's good. Hack. I rooted the gas outside. Vent the gas. Close the vents. Let me guess. If I hadn't mind fucked that guy, I, this would have been a way to get them to leave the town. I bet it would have. They would have saw the gas coming out, and they would have ran away, I bet. So there are multiple ways to do this objective. I already had done one, though. Alright, so I'm going to assume Carlota's in here. There you go. Relax, the Sublate Squad is gone. Relax. I've been cooped up in here for almost two days. Damn. Who are you, anyway? <laughs> Dark side Phil. Awesome. Finally. Tell Graham that this is the last run I'm doing. Sanjar has declared a stop sale to you lot, but even if he hadn't, I'm not risking my neck anymore. Yeah, there she is. I don't know how you got those goons to leave, but thank you. Graham ordered rollers and what's-its, right? For a Printing press? Here, take them. There you go. Like I said, this is my last run. Why did Benny for working with the Iconoclast? Let's say that. You'd have to ask him. All I know is that if I get caught, I'll get arrested. Hmm. Why are you helping Graham? It's an enviable thing he's <clears throat> doing. Free people and all that. I can't live that way. I need my structure. But I respect the Iconoclasts for doing it. Really get their supplies now. Law help them. I don't know. Maybe Sublight can lend a hand. I should go. Look, Graham's got a bit or two left in his account. I can send one last dropout before I wash my hands of this. What do you want delivered? So, high capacity data cartridges or extra food and medicine? Let's go practical. Extra food and medicine. Uh, I always took that woman for the sensible type. There you go. Good on her. I'll send some along. Give them all my regards. And good luck out there. Watch Graham be super pissed Don't at me now for doing this. He probably will. Watch. He'll be like, what the fuck? I told you I wanted this. You gave me something else. Well, you're an idiot. You're a terrible leader. Another flamethrower. Dude, I got so much to sell again. I haven't seen a web invention in a while. Like I said, I wanted to do... Uh, I wanted to see if I could modify that light machine gun to be like a corrosive light machine gun. I haven't found anything recently to do that for with, so. <clears throat> Alright, as usual, buy these. And then sell a bunch of shit again. First of all, sell all the junk. Carbine, I don't want. I already have one. I don't want a hatchet. I don't want a, a hideous exo helmet. And I don't want that either. I found another flamethrower. I can sell that. I think I found another pla two more plasma launchers. I can sell those. Sell the hot hammer. Sell the stupid mining mask. Oh my god. Sell the dead eye assault rifle. Sell the <laughs> sell everything. Sell, sell, sell. It's a freaking selling spree. Damn. All right, so we're done here. I'm going to fast travel back to Graham and let him know that we were successful. Yep. Nice. Trying to do as much as I can in the time I have. I only have 30 minutes left to play today. I have so many quests that unlock now. It's quite incredible, actually. <laughs>
Sealed cat just sent me a dollar, said I found a dollar behind the couch. <sighs> you did, huh? Good for you. It's always good to find stuff in places like that. <laughs> a little bonus. A little bonus for the day. Alright. So we're back. Where the hell's Graham? Up here. Unit's air purity sensors are indicating a lethal level of inebriation emanating from a nearby organic source. Please, do you think this is bad? Sure. You gotta get your sensors recal- recal- You ain't seen me drunk. <laughs> oh, great. Anyway. Bullshit, Graham. <clears throat> they don't just abandon orders, and they weren't at the ruins. Uh-oh. Where in this sulfur-sodden hellhole did you send them? They're on a very important- Ah, we'll continue this later. The hell is he talking about? Welcome back, Captain. I got your rollers. The rest of your account went to food and medicine. Thank the Eternal that someone's got some sense in their head. Carlotta usually schedules the next drop during the meeting. When's she coming? She isn't. Sandra ordered to stop sale. Yep. That is most unfortunate. This cuts off one of our only two supply lines on Monarch. Sandra, our old friend, you're about to cross a dangerous line. About to? That idiot just declared war. Another agreeable to me. I... we will deal with his subversion later. For now, we must redouble our efforts to spread the truth to the colony. Time to fix up the press, right? The print... Oh, no. Graham, you didn't. I've already sent a team ahead to scout the press. That's where they They're are. The Meet them there and find out if they've been successful. Oh, my God. You sent the Van Noys there, didn't you? Oh, for fuck's sake, Graham. We needed them in the ruins. Our people died out there. They went willing to fight for our cause. We need reinforcements. We need new recruits. The Van Noys saw the printing facility with the same importance as I. Reminder. Prolonged exposure to germicidal fumes kills... <laughs> Brain cells. Ah! I have the utmost confidence in their abilities. Friends, we must have faith that the men and women we recruit can handle the duties for which we recruit them. Spreading the word is priority number one, otherwise how can the movement grow? You could have said that after backing Zora up, right? Yes, you're damn right he could have. But he's so obsessed with preaching that he's become blind to our actual problems. Look, just... If the Van Noys are still alive, get them out of there. With Sanjar pressing the issue like this, I have a feeling we'll need them. So we, we gotta go back to the printing press we've already done. I'll do everything I can. Repair the printing press and retrieve Zora's team. Okay. We get out of town, and I don't know if we can fast travel to the printing press or not. I believe it was on the other side of the river. I guess we'll see. <laughs> la 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 la. We already cleared the printing press out before we even knew about any of this. It just said, oh, you know, printing press is not functional at one of the terminals. So I get now that we have the rollers, I bet now that we can fix it. Okay, so let's take a look here. Yeah, I can fast travel over there. Look, because I already did it. Yep. Nice. That's good. That saves time. Any thoughts on the story so far and, and, and characters I like or dislike? The thing is, the story is... There's so much to it. There's so many factions. There's so much going on. It's hard to focus on the main storyline. Like, we haven't actually done anything in the main storyline in like hours and hours. So it's actually kind of hard to see who you like and who you don't like. You end up doing so much busy work for every little group out here out here. That's hard to really say much. Um, oh, look who they are! Please take a moment to complete this nice. customer survey. What's Did up? Neoka, you're a sight right uh, now, I'll tell you what. We are up a creek. I bet. You really come this far north for a printing press? So she knows them. Yeah. I know, I know, but that's the mission. Don't suppose y'all are busy right now. <laughs> Graham actually sent me to secure the press. I said, I'm here to help. Zora sent me to look for you guys. Once I get you out safe, I'll see about the press. I'll say I'm here to help. Thanks, but I ain't sure the mission is worth it. 
keep spewing that sulfur, I'm liable to leave you to the rafts. <laughs> what my well-meaning idiot of a brother intends to say is, we appreciate the assist. Here, you clear out and I'll handle the press, yeah. Would that we could. We ain't leaving our men behind, and they ain't moving on their own. Our medic has got our trauma kit, but we got separated. We ain't seen oh, them in a couple of hours. Great. Okay. Any idea where he went? Yeah, on account of giving him the order. He's searching the old settlement to the north of the press. So now I gotta go to the settlement north of the press and look for this fucking guy. Come on. I've already cleared it though. Because I've already been here, so there won't be that many enemies. Oh, never mind. She died. All right, asshole. Time to die, bitch. Got him. I was like, where the hell is this stupid thing? There, level 20. Ha <laughs> ha. Level up. God damn. Well, okay then. Why do I get the feeling this person is very, very dead? Because they are very, very dead. Well, I guess we'll do everything. We'll go trade. We'll go do the printing press too, and then go back. Play cool. Just give me a dollar, and I'm back. Usually, I have to bookmark that playthrough, but with that, there would be no need. Can't expect YouTube to easily show the next video to watch the sequence to switch streamline. Watching your content for all the YouTube fans have a great weekend. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for that suggestion. If I can remember to do it, I'll try. But it's going to be tough now, especially in the middle of a new of a playthrough I'm already doing. Maybe, like, the next new playthrough I do coming up this week, I could try it out or something. Anyway, um... So I got lockpick to 60. Engineering to 50. There we go. Now, new perk. Yeah, another new perk. What do I want to do? Range weapon sway, movement penalty to accuracy. Headshot kills, deal 20% damage. Revive companion. This is what I wanted to do and I screwed up. That's what I'm doing next. If I heal, my companions will auto healing at 25% health. That's great. We're doing that. All right, now we got to try to do the printing press. I got 20 minutes left. I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal because I've already been in here. So I don't think there'll be that many more enemies. Just go in, fix the press, get out. Huh. All right, Yoshino Lover, see you later. Yeah, tomorrow is the continuation of Luigi's Mansion 3. So if you want to see that, come back tomorrow. Sounds good. Polish Frog, no, I'm not considered using the respect machine. I'm So far, I'm happy with my choices. So... In fact, I think uh, taking those flaws was good because the flaws made the game more challenging. Yeah, look, everyone, I already cleared it out. I came in here, already did this. So all I gotta do is come up here now. Everything is already destroyed. There we go. Install the rollers. Alright, we're done with that. We can get out of here now. We just gotta retrieve the team. Cool. Oh, 
Oh, man. Who the hell are the chairman and Minister Clark? I don't even know who they are. <laughs> Alright, here they are. That was a hell of a soiree. Let's get you all home. <clears throat> yes, let's. Get us our medic back, and we'll get out of here. Your medic is dead. I found the trauma kit on him, though. Oh, fuck. Well, that's better than nothing. Thanks. We'll head out as soon as we're patched up. All right, done and done. Now we gotta go turn to Graham. Oh, wait. Both Yoka and Sam have a new perk. So her level 4 perks are chance to reset ability, cooldown on a kill, harmful status effects down, or increase the damage dealt by this companion for a short time after performing their companion ability. Okay, that's good. Now what about Sam? Sam can either get 20% chance to reset ability, harmful status effect down, or increase the damage dealt by this companion for a short time after performing their companion ability. Same thing. Let's do it for both of them. Alright, nice. Alright, fast shuffle back, trade it in. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, I agree, Deathproof. The game is pretty solid. He says it reminds him of Star Trek. I mean, obviously, in this game, they're using heavy weapons and shit. And they don't do that in Star Trek, but... kind of, I kind of agree with you. It's kind of like the same kind of a world where... It looks like, everyone's like a, everyone who works for certain groups are like goody two-shoes, while other people who don't live by the rules kind of get ahead. That's kind of how it was in Star Trek, too. I, Awful Waffle, I used to be a fan of the Angry Video Game Nerd back in the day. I actually watched these videos for like two years before I ever did a YouTube video of my own. Um, I stopped watching his stuff when I started doing YouTube for a living because I was too busy to really care about other people's content? content anymore. I was so constantly doing mine. So, But I used to watch all his stuff. I owned his first DVD and everything. Here we are. If you'll just listen. Uh oh. No, no more listening. No more preaching. We are losing people left and right. We need to act. Enough, Zora. I'm not putting the torch to innocent people. Do you want to bring the board's cruisers and gunships down on us? Captain, apologies, but our situation grows dire. Our people talk of foolish endeavors. What news do you bring? Good news for you. If there are gunships, they didn't stop me from landing here. They are armed all the same. All they need is a good reason, and war is one such reason. Well, the printing press is yours. Excellent. Uh, Did you find the Vanois? Of course. And they're on their way back. Thank the Eternal. We're one step closer to bringing the truth to every man, woman, and child in Halcyon. This plan's brilliance is in its subtlety. For the time being, let us cease our activities on the tower, lest we bring premature attention upon us. I have much to do. Articles to write, sermons to ponder. We live in such an exciting time. Let's talk later. Hey, I need to see to the wounded, but drop by the clinic when you can. I want a word. Ah, uh, so now she's probably going to give me a plot line. How much you want to bet? She's going to try to get me to, to uh, abandon helping him and do stuff for her because she thinks that he's just, like, completely nuts. That's what I'm going to guess. Silka so asked, am I disappointed by the difficulty level? I mean, I would say the, the, it's, the combat itself is, like, insanely easy. Um, I don't know if that's intentional. Like I said, I don't know if that's because I leveled up the right things or because it's actually intentional in the game's design on normal difficulty. But, yeah, the combat is fucking super easy, dude. Outside of that, though, the game itself is outstanding. It just seems like the combat's the one thing that's way too, too easy. Here we go. Hey, Captain. I need your help, and we ought to keep it hush-hush. You know about what happened here, right? The history of Amber Heights? No. You're talking about the massacre. Back when the corpse were pulling out, pirates raided the place and killed the MSI bigwigs living here. Well, that's fucking terrible. Right. 
Common belief is that the pirates fled to an old relay station that had already been abandoned, but nobody could find them. The station's locked up, but one of my people found an old data cartridge in a nearby wrapped nest. Hmm. It's mostly corrupted, but I pulled a couple codes off of it. One is the code to the Amber Heights gate. I don't recognize the other, but it's similar. I bet it opens a door. Random door code is unuseful. The Amber Heights gate? Why are we keeping this to ourselves? Go to the relay station see if the code's useful. Right. <clears throat> the access codes to Amber Heights. What gets me is... If this belonged to the pirates, that means they knew someone there. So there was an inside person who gave let them, them the get in. Code, right. All those deaths, Captain. Hmm. All that blood is on their hands. Hilly Kitty asked what happened to the cannibals. I thought I could treat I could turn them in, but you can't. So basically I didn't kill them, I just let them alone. Which sucks. I thought that you could uh you could trade I've had the you know turn them in and had the authorities could get them, but there was no way to do that. So Okay. Random door code doesn't sound useful. I know it's a long shot, but <clears throat> if we miss something there, if you can get into that station, maybe we can get some answers. Okay. Just a warning. The area is infested with mantisaurs. I'd send some help, but we're, you know, preparing for war. Right, I'm on it. I appreciate it. Here's the code. If it works, bring back anything you find. Supplies are best, but information's good too. Sucker bait. Someone it's was called behind the Amber Heights massacre. They give a lot of people around here some closure to find out who and string them up. Good luck. Watch out for the taros. Okay, so we gotta leave here. We gotta go to this relay station, wherever the hell it is. I mean, there's apparently a door that could not be open until now, and we can go in and see what the hell's in there. I'm stuck. Stuck on someone who's crouching in front of me, out of the way. <laughs> no, Jasper, they're not gonna trick or treating. Jasper is an indoor cat. He doesn't leave the house. How ridiculous, massive steak. Well, that would be pretty cute if he did. Thank you, Golden Colts, for a 50 bit cheer. I appreciate that. <laughs> Okay. Okay, um... Oh. Well, it's not actually where we're going. It's somewhere completely different. A relay station? I think there may be another... Oh, wait! No, it's the wrong thing! Shit! What are we doing? Open the sealed door. Okay. So that's a different area. A completely different area, right? Area is unseen. It's here. Damn, there's so many. So there, there, and there. I guess this Fallbrook is the closest place, right? What about the companion quest? That's even further out. So this is Fallbrook. This is the sealed door. This is somewhere else, and this is somewhere else for commissions. So I guess we should do Fallbrook first, because Fallbrook seems to be the closest place, right? Let's go to Fallbrook. Let's do this first. All right. Actually, we had found a, a, a cat costume that looked that like a king, it. and we joked that would be pretty cool because he could dress like me, the king of hate, you know. But we didn't get it for some reason. We just we basically we didn't like yeah. We laughed at it. We thought it was funny. And later in the day, we got home. We were like, man, we probably should have got that, but we didn't get it. So, no, Jasper did not dress up for Halloween. <laughs> All right, fall, fall, bro. Look out! Oh, shit, they got him. Everyone, all right? Okay. Ah, Polish trucks, and I'm sure it's on clearance today. Yeah, maybe we go to a, uh, if we go to the pet store again this week coming up on my day off. Maybe they'll have it on clearance, so we can still get it. You're right. So I think when the enemies die to the end zone elemental effect, it does that flare, that big burst of purple, and that's how you know you killed the enemy, I think. Oh, 
Damn, that was fast. Make short work of them. You know what I forgot? I got the new ability that when they do their their uh their their companion abilities, they immediately then get a damage boost. So maybe they they opened fire and just ripped through everything and killed them so fast. Holy shit! All right, looks like right around this corner. Yep, that must be Fallbrook. So we're gonna have a few missions here. Fallbrook's on the other side of the bridge there, if you need a drink. We're only halfway to the mountains, so might consider stopping it. I don't need a drink. I've trained all these quests and get a ton of experience. There's probably even more quests in here too, watch. Yuck. <laughs> Sisty pig. Ew. Ew. You don't like that picture, Epo Gooden? <laughs> you don't like that? I mean, you do realize we eat pigs that look... You know, maybe not exactly like that, but we do eat pigs like that all the time. <laughs> Just because it has cysts all over it doesn't mean it's less delicious. The cysty pig. Wow, Fallbrook must be something else. taking forever to load. There we go. Look like they made a town inside of, like, a cave or something. Who the fuck are you? Trouble checking in? Or you might need directions to the amenities? If you're locked out of your cabin, a replacement key costs 50 bits. Fuck off. <laughs> so, so I have two different missions with Catherine. It's what our units do best. Is the sublight office? Who's this? Whoa, Take nice mustache. Wrap that mug. I ain't ever seen someone so adept looking my whole life. Watch yourself, Captain. This guy's got eyes like a sprat set on stealing your dinner. <laughs> oh, now, come on. All I mean is, well, rather that, uh, you don't seem like the usual pigeons we pluck. No offense, of course, if you are a Byzantium goldblood. Say, I'd like to do you a favor. Might I interest you in a surefire scheme? Oh, boy, a surefire scheme. Sounds great. Lila's something to deal with the sublight problem. I, I, why, I, well, I certainly hope you're not insinuating the problem is me. Uh, I mean, that would be preposterous. I, I never do anything under the table that, uh, Miss Malin ain't aware of. If there's any issue, really, you should talk to her. <laughs> She's straight back in Malin's house of hospitality. What was the favor you wanted? Oh, right. Well, I mean, if you're interested. Pure and simple, it's like this. I run our drug delivery service. Recently, I had the genius idea to cut costs in half by swapping our autoloaders with faster, cheaper sprats. And, yeah, we pocket the half you save. Huh. Too right you are. Only problem is my sprat carriers ain't arrived from their latest run. As I was saying, you look more capable than most of the hoople heads around these parts. What say you locate him and retrieve the goods for me? In return, I'll cut you 5% of the profit. Wow. Make it 35 plus a sample of the goods and you got a deal. Th 30, <laughs> 35%? Are you... Are you out of your gourd? If I wasn't recovering from a bout of Margellans, I wouldn't stand for this. But things are what they are, so... I'll agree to it. Wow, he agreed to it. half a percent more. My Sprat carrier scurry back and forth through the shipping tunnels. Any trail ought to start there. When Give me the got storage the key. I'll be here. Give me a storage key to check out some shipping tunnels. Okay. A new vendor. As always, always buy that stuff. Go 
in there. All right, Catherine's over here. Hey, boss lady told me to take the night off. A Fallbrook patron. Nothing too important here. Delivering to that house with a strange family. The ones that always smell like raw meat and guts. Ah, they're talking about the cannibals, you hear them? Yep. Oddest thing. They started ordering cans of Borstwurst, but only if they come from the CMP factory. Makes you wonder what the secret ingredient is. They're talking about the cannibal family. Uh, that's pretty funny. <clears throat> Dry goods and sundry. It's, it's cool they have those random references. A gun and ammo vendor. I have 17,000. Oh my god. I test every product myself to assure maximum customer satisfaction. If you doubt it, I can show you my lower back rash. Ew. No rubbernecking. Make a buy or move on. What does he have? What does he sell? Food? These are all locked. It's restricted goods. More than likely you have to raise the, camp the colony's affinity with you. And when you do, then you can buy the restricted goods. What does this do? The pad of a sublight contractor and a damaged data pad. These must be quest items. Well, I bought them. I don't know what the hell they are, but I bought them. I don't know what they do. You shopping for <clears throat> pre-owned or new? If you bloody it, you buy it. Store policy. Oh, you saw what it said? It's. It, I now know where the science weapon is on Monarch, apparently. Yeah. Weapons? Yeah, all weapons. No refund. If you bloody. Who's the top dog? Young sublight owned and run. Caters to a variety of clientele. The one you want to avoid pissing off the most is Catherine. Prove bad for her business, and she'll kneecap you without a second thought. Well, that's what we're going to talk to, so. Okay. All right. I don't know what the hell those things are that I bought at all. I don't even know what they do. <laughs> okay. Mainland's House of Hospitality. That's where Catherine is. Okay. All right. Well, it looks like we're going to uh, be advancing the plot next time we play. Let me save. I'm out of time for today, sadly. But we got a lot done. We The whole day we spent on Monarch. And boy, we found a ton of missions. did a ton of shit. A lot of levels. So... Good stuff. Also, my new, I love my new end zone weapon, and now I want to make that corruption light machine gun too. So, dude, I'm gonna have so many weapons, one of each, each elemental soon. Really awesome. All right, very nice stuff, guys. Thank you.